all 10 participating. There are only five balls in the middle of the field, so if the teams are well prepared, Coach, only five will run after these balls to start the game. No doubt about the preparation. Keep an eye on these quarterbacks. Alex Schmidt with two balls. He's going to cut it loose. Looking for one of these big guys on blue. Good old fashioned dodgeball. Field's 20 feet long, so they're each 10 yards away from the neutral zone of the back line. You get hit by a ball, you're out. If you throw one, the opponent catches it, you're out. You can deflect the ball away using a ball in your hand, so Andy Dalton is out for the AFC. I did not know Geno Atkins had that kind of arm, Sean. It wasn't for this dodgeball tournament. Alex Smith was hit but was on the bounce, and Dean Blandino right there on the call, so that doesn't count. If you hit somebody in the head on the other team, you, the thrower, are out. No headshots allowed. There's Chris Harris eliminated. Jai is also out. And if you leave the court, the field of play, the back line, you are out. So you can see Joe Thomas has already been eliminated. Oh, NFC yeah. has all of its players and a timeout called. Each team gets one. Well, Jerome Bettis, Ray Lewis needed this timeout because the NFC is taking it to them at dodgeball. They need this timeout. The strategy was to try to keep their most agile players in the back to stick around for the end. Andy Dalton not agile enough there. Ajay gets hit. I don't see much strategy down here, Sean. Oh, we want back another three throw behind him. We got number four. So here's what we need. We need one. We need the one to go after one on the end. Skip a ball. Go after one. Because we can't have everybody bunched up. We want to spread everybody out. Make it hard on them. Yeah. It's hard to imagine that Jerome Bettis and Ray Lewis have much dodgeball coaching experience, but that did sound convincing. And you heard the reference to the money. All the participants get $10,000 on each team, including the legendary captains. But the winning team of the overall competition, those team members get an additional $7,500. So that's some nice spending money here in Orlando. And then some. So the AFC is in Pick big guys, trouble. Pick your guys. Go, go, go. They reset the balls after the timeout, which is really dangerous. Look at the NFC coach attacking that front line. Great catch by Alex Smith. Well, he didn't seem to be knowing that the ball was coming at him. I believe it's Dak Prescott who got eliminated on that catch by Smith. Smith was eliminated, and the NFC should throw these balls at the same time at Jarvis Landry. There they go. Ooh, Jarvis oh. Landry dropped the ball, so he's eliminated. Chris Harris and T.Y. Hilton, that's all we have left. Yeah, I thought Harris was out earlier, but it was actually Ajayi, as you noted. And now the NFC will use its timeout to discuss the strategy. I think they'd be wise to adopt the strategy that you just recommended. Just go up there firing simultaneously. I'm a former coach, and there's no doubt they're going to use the shotgun approach. <laughs> Throw three balls at once. Here's a double shotgun, and Jarvis Landry can't handle it. He's out. Big drop. But Big I'm sure drop. Tony Gonzalez is telling his team, throw multiple balls at T.Y. Hilton at the same time. Just don't go at the head. Of course. Play for the kid. Well, I know don't, you don't were a great fan of the That's legendary movie Dodgeball, a true underdog story from 2004 starring Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller. And this would be a true underdog story now for the AFC. Really up against it. And if we do run out of time, our coverage will continue on ESPN and the Ocho. Lisa was eavesdropping. Lisa, what do you hear? Yeah, I just asked the two remaining AFC guys, what's the strategy? And they said, we're going to just try to make the catch. T.Y. Hilton said, defense, it wins championships. Okay, they're not even going to run after balls. They're just trying to stay alive. And uh, Harris needs to be careful. He's not on the field to play. Now he is. It should not the take line. <laughs> what a catch by Harris. He should be eliminated, however, because he was hit with the ball as well. But I think the catch trumps the hit because it came first. So they're both still alive, apparently, and now they have plenty of the dodgeballs on their side. 
Colton Dutrecki just caught the ball but was not hit. Only 30 seconds left here. Well, he was hit by Beckham. Odell Beckham, the star of this show. Whoa. And running out of time. Now this would be one of the great performances in the history of American athletics. It's off to a good start on a nice catch by Hilton. Oh, and another. Beckham's gone, but the clock is running. And the NFC still has many more men on the field. And that's it. Valiant effort by T.Y. Hilton, but so far it is coming up short. They are going to shrink the field now after the three minutes expires, and they'll continue to play. So he has a chance, but he's going to have to fire from even closer range, which makes his extinction seemingly a foregone conclusion. But boy, are they battling after Harris went down, Hilton all by himself. You know, Kelsey let that ball rip. Hilton has made a couple of great catches. Stay alive here, Sean. So after the three-minute first round, the field has been shrunk. And the AFC team has certainly shrunk. Only one player left. T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts against Patrick Peterson, Mike Evans, Thomas Davis, Gerald McCoy, and Ezekiel Elliott. Let's see Hilton's strategy. He does not have a ball to throw, so he is in dodge mode. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott scoops all the balls. On to the NFC side. Whoa, there's a nice catch. And they're down to four now, remaining on the NFC side. I don't think the team in blue has anyone that scares Hilton with their arm. And that's it. Oh, he couldn't make the catch. Ezekiel Elliott oh. celebrates the victory in the epic Pro Bowl dodgeball and the overall championship in the first Pro Bowl. Skill showdown goes to the NFC.